All right, now we're going to make an animal that I really enjoy, and if it's done well, it looks really cool, uh, much more detailed than the giraffe or the dogs we've been doing. But we're going to start out. We're going to start out with a smaller face. I'm going to put just about an inch. This one might be a little bit larger, but we'll work with it. And now we're going to make two two-inch bubbles, no different than we were making ears on the dog. So we'll just make two two-inch bubbles. And don't worry if the bubbles aren't quite the right size. You know, as long as they're close, it'll work. Now when I started this balloon, the one thing I did was, and I, this balloon may be a little too small for this, but what I did was I made sure I had plenty of room, about five inches on the tail, not blown up. The reason being, there's going to be some extra twists here, and we're going to keep compressing that air down that balloon, and as that happens, um, if we did not have this extra space here, the balloon would pop. Now here's, this is the different thing we're going to do. Now what I want to do here is I want to make two, two, excuse me, two, TWO, two TWO again, inch bubbles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold this over, you know, so it's about oh, three inches by three inches. Hold that over, right? And this will make a six inch bubble. Now what I'm going to do is I once have that done, I just will do an interlocking twist. And there I have it. Now I'm going to do the same thing again. Now what we're doing is, this will be the big horn, and it's going to go over this section. I may have made that just a little small, we'll see. So I'm going to once again go over here about six inches. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that six inches, I'm going to fold it over. And now, right there with the mouth again, I put that in my lap, I, think, so I guess you can't see it in my lap. It's hard to do this in a wheelchair for me sometimes. I'm going to fold this over, so then I have... From this point to here, six inches or three by three. I'm going to do another interlocking twist. And now you can see it looks like I have a mess here. Now it looks like I have one, one big horn that's going to work. I don't know if this one's going to work here. I think I made that too short. But what we want to do is we want to fold the big loops over what would have been the ears of a dog. Alright, so this is just like the ears of the dog. We're going to fold these loops over. I may have to do this in a fashion. It's kind of hard to push that through. Take the inner, take the inner bubbles, push out. Now I'm doing this, I'm kind of grimacing. I can't really show you as I do it, but there. And what I've done is I pushed that bubble over the top. I'm going to take the bubble again, I have the second side, and push it over here. Now, boy, this is, seems pretty tight. I don't know if I can get it done without popping it. All that crackling noise is kind of scary. Now, what I've done here, I've taken those loops, and I pushed them over the top. That's all I've done. I'm sorry that I, I don't have the strength to sit up really tall and do this in my chair when I'm leaning around. So I've just taken those loops and poured them over the top and see what I have here. I have a big horn sheep. Now the rest of it, and this is why I still see how now my five inches I had in the tail is only about two. Now I'm gonna don't have as much balloon to work with here. So what we'll do, we always make a, a short neck on our animal here, our big horn sheep. And now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I think I can get by with it. I'm going to go ahead and, and make my legs like I've done any other animal. I'll fold. Make about a two inch balloon. I'm going to fold over. Do the interlocking twist. Here's my front legs. Luckily I still have enough tail over here. I'll make the body. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that final set of legs by making another two inch balloon. And then I'm basically going to fold it back over, and right near the end, I'll do an interlocking twist. And voila, there you have it. An easy balloon to make. I really like this one. Now, see, I made some mistakes on this one. Uh, my first twist for the ears, which I put these larger balloons, these six inch um, joints I made over the top. I didn't make them perfect. They were a different size. And so I was fearful that I wouldn't be able to pull this off, but 
you have a lot of flexibility with, when doing these animals, and each one is unique. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have to be perfect with the instructions to make this work. So I really like this one. I think this is a very, very cool one to make, and it's very easy. Remember, just start it like a dog, make the two inch ears, make these loops here six inches, interlock them, and then you push the larger balloons, the six inch balloons, over your one inch ears. And I find it easier to work from the, you know, going from the small balloons, the two inch balloons, and trying to push them over versus trying to pull this over the top. I like to push them into it. So anyway, just play with that. This is a great animal to make. It's, it's very easy, and I think you'll enjoy it.